new recording, so I have to tell everyone who's watching the recording, I, I'm available as a project lead. I will make it a disaster. It will be remembered. Don't worry. Okay. Better get to me before I get a job, or I'll never be available. Anyway, I know you guys were backstage, but did you see Swamp Babies? Oh my god, it was so bad. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. Reversed. Utter chaos. I'm sorry, but I have a tarot deck and I have to look at it now. Two of Pentacles reversed. Where are my Two of Pentacles? I got a Page of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. So, what is Pentacles again? That's coins, right? That's like family matters and money. So early on... God, I forgot to read these how these cards read. I gotta find the pentacles, and I gotta find two of them. Why am I poking out my cards? Because it's a bit different when I read in my cards, you know? Cards are not the same. I gotta look up my source that told me about the stuff, because I, I might have made a mistake there, and I might have... That is the ace of pentacles. That's that's one. So the, the lower numbers are like the beginning of a journey, and the higher numbers are the end of the journey. Or like completion and stuff, so... I'm worried these cards are going to cut me because they're sliding on my stomach. I'm wearing a shirt. Don't worry about it. But I'm worried that they'll just slice through me because they're incredibly nice cards. And such nice cards can do great damage to a man who is arrogant and foolish. Okay. Oh, this is great. I actually drew it reversed too. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Maybe I'll put a tarot reading in, in the... Okay, listen. I actually went and I did a little little, little draft reading, a little bit, a little bit of writing for what if Anon transfer to the Goodbye Volcano High version of Volcano High. Just a little exploratory writing. It's really nothing. It's like a couple of pages. But it's fun. It was fun to do. This guy's juggling two coins between his hands. How lovely for him. But um, it really got me thinking about like the intricacies of getting Anon to work as a character, getting him involved. I quickly figured out that I need to get Anon to agree to whatever the fuck uh, Naomi is saying, because he couldn't get involved with Naomi otherwise. So uh, my idea is that in the, the first meeting with um, Mrs. Roberts, he says something that makes Roberts like, listen, Anna, you're going getting extracurricular. You are doing something, because I know your type, and you're going to fuck up this year. I'm not letting you. You're getting something. So that when he's outside, and Naomi's talking about, hey, do you want to join like the, the school newspaper or something? Roberts peeks out and is like, Anon, you are doing this with, with a death glare. And he's like, oh, I can't say no. She'll kill me. <laughs> That way, Anon, as a person, doesn't have to agree to it. And Naomi thinks that, oh, Anon's a great person. You know, fun stuff like that. Anyway, Pentacles. Pentacles deals with material and familial matters. I knew it. I'm very smart. I'm getting better at this. So what does the two say? Well, the two has a guy who's juggling two coins. So I imagine that he's uh, barely making it work. He's, he's learning the intricacies of, of juggling the difficulties of life. It's got an infinity symbol, though, so that might mean something. Who knows? Wands, cups... I'm looking for pentacles, also known as coins, swords, pentacles. Two of pentacles, a young man in the act of dancing, and has a pentacle in either hand, and they are joined by an endless cord, like that is the number eight reversed. The divinatory message is, it is interpreted as a, gar as a card of gaiety, recreation, and its connections, which is the subject of its design. But it can also be read as news and messages in writing, such as obstacles, agitation, trouble, or embroilment. Reversed is enforced gaiety. Simulated enjoyment, literal sense, handwriting, composition. Oh, that's weird. Gaiety probably means like happiness and just uh, revelry. And yes, it is that kind of gaiety. Wink, wonk. Anyway, please put the Hey Arnold soundtrack in your head and fast forward to the part where it goes. You are legally required. But not the fun kind. Well. Oh. Fun for us because we hate them, but ah, shit, I gotta go. I I forgot something outside. I like how that is a. You could just have, like, I know there's a scene transition, but it. So, not immediately going outside. All it does is it makes you stand there for like two extra dialogue lines, and I guess. Naomi gets a bit pissy. If this was well designed, you could pull up the, 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 the direct messages feed and they're like, are you coming? Hello? Hello? And, and you feel bad about it? I don't know. Hell, you could make it a situation. Here's what you could do, right? Clever moment. You and me. Let, let's workshop this. Make it a minigame. 
have this be where you can get a lot of points with Rosa and Sage and, 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 and Stella. You can get points with all of them. And you sit there. But as you sit there and this little bar goes up, this little bar of like, everyone loves you. Everyone thinks you're great. They're having such a great moment. And maybe Se Fang's self-esteem goes up. But as you do that, the other bar of like Naomi goes down, down, down. Maybe Nasser's bar goes down because Nasser knows. Maybe Nasser knows. And Nasser's like, oh, Fang, I can't believe you're... Where's Nasser in this? Why isn't Nasser like, hey, congratulating? I forgot he was here. Holy shit, this is such a botched scene. What the fuck? This is awful. Ah, Naomi, did, did you see somebody waiting out here? Um, wait. It's you? Yeah, it's me. Surprise! <laughs> I, um, hey. Man, I cannot read the expressions and tone of the scene. I'm sorry I'm late. I, I got caught up. It's fine. I, I was on my way out anyway. Congrats on winning the battle. Y you guys did great. I, I wasn't trying to ghost you, I, I swear. I waited for you, Fang. I wanted to congratulate you in person. Nasser, despite knowing Naomi and probably knowing what Naomi is doing here, has nothing to add to this scene, I guess. I feel I'm too straight for this game because for whatever reason I was hoping Reed would be loved. Listen, man. I want to I want to I want to hang out with Reed. I've mentioned that before. But even I don't know if I want to hang out with Reed. <laughs> it's all kind of a blur right now. I I mean, the show was great, but after we went backstage, I a lot happened after the show. Like, a lot. With Trish and Reed. Honestly. I don't think I'm ready to talk about... Us. This. Not yet. Well, not right now, you mean. Oh. I, I mean, that's fine. I promise I'm... Considering that uh, Naomi's entire character is going into awkward situations and surviving, let's see how they handle this. Not trying to avoid you. I just need some time. By the way, a real lobster with an I with an internet connection. I love that your name is so long that on my chat window, it's always on a new line from the timestamp. It's great. To process this and and everything else. Can you wait for me? Sure. You've waited like a whole year. You can wait. We can talk. Half a year. Naomi, I... It's fine. I'm used to waiting for you. Bye, Fang. Naomi should be way more understanding given their usual rigidity. I love how the alley looks very clean. Oh, that's such a cute... <laughs> There's Nasser. Told you you'd win. Nasser, you should know that Naomi is here. Need a ride? Yes. Uh, yeah. I imagine that Fang was riding with, uh, with, with, you know, Reed. Thanks. Cool. I'm parked over there. Why did they stop? Anyway, the Aurora Borealis. Uh, uh, Aurora Borealis! At this time of day, at this time of year, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? Sure. <laughs> Actually, it's not Aurora Borealis. It'd be like Aurora Astroilis or something, because it's from an asteroid, not the poles. Down the tropics. Aurora Tropicalis or something. I don't fucking know. I'm not smart. Yeah, Reed deserves a hug. That'd be cute. Like, if you got good read points or good fang points, you can give him a hug to get some extra... Like, that's how you build that kind of affinity system, is you have these little interactions. And you make it clear to the player what they're going for. Like, you can hug Reed and make up with him and give him some confidence. And then Reed has this bonus flag where he's a little more confident because he knows he's got your back. You've got your got his back. But then you're a little late with Trish and you miss out on a couple of options because you don't have enough time to talk about it. Like, how dynamic do you want it to be? Because you can make this stuff pretty dynamic. I think too. I think I dream too big because this is this is starting to get scope creepy. This is getting like a little too much, but it's an interesting idea, especially if it's all you got. Anyway, the background artists are killing it as usual. 
I love how the Aurora is shining from the back. How long have we been, have we, have we, have we been recording for now? Like an hour and a half? Ugh. Oh my god. Why are these people sending me messages like this? The loyalty missions from Mass Effect. Nah, yeah, sure. Reed will die during the asteroid near miss if you don't hug him. <laughs> For no reason. Oh, this is awesome. I hate you, Heat Death. I hate you, Meteor. I love you, vending machine on the second floor. I hate you, Mrs. Roberts. I hate you, Impact Death. Students, as a reminder, the school stay open unless they're active by the schoolwork. Please continue attending classes as normal. Please. And despite the fact they're still like, the asteroid isn't causing this problem. Clearly it is. Weird as it is. Giving you low light speed and all. Oh my god. Yeah, school is totally still open. Candlelight Vigil, oh my god, Comet Flash, oh, that is so good, though. I wish you got a little bit of that earlier, like, just a couple of murals would have been great in the background. You know, I have a couple of murals in the background of this escalation, this slow, creeping threat. I love how it's a fucking vigil, too. That's so terrifying. Oh. Damn. You know, I'm just gonna give you this. If this was Snoot Game and they were actually pulling this shit, they would probably have Anon attend that for some reason or another. Because maybe Fang shows up, because Fang's, like, worried about it. And we would actually get this incredibly depressing scene where a bunch of teens are trying to make uh, amends with the fact that they're going to die. <laughs> you know, on the casual, on the sly. Kadira City Schools, wait a minute, I thought they said that they're still open. Wait, is it called Kadira City or Kadira Bay? If this was a great game, I would know some of the characters that are sitting in this crowd, and I'd be like, oh, that's that character. Of course they'd still go to school. But it's just Naomi, and she's obvious. Why are you here, Fang? Fucked it up. Just have Fang and the guitar so that it's like the band is broken up. But I guess the drums are fine because technically Reed isn't broken up. But, I do like how this is set up, though. They did get the proper, like, tonal shift. Everything is a bit grayer, a bit more dour. Uh, the school's fucked up. There's only a few people still attending school. Fang is at music class for some reason. I guess the school doesn't care anymore or still letting students use the, the place or whatever. Maybe some teachers are still giving classes. But then the song is pretty depressing. It works very well. But, like... There's something missing. I don't know how to explain it. This works really well, but I don't... There's something missing. I don't know what it is. Like, a good lead-in? 
uh, a good like early establishment of this escalation. <sighs> Like, what does Nasser feel about this? Because he probably would be affected by this a lot, that the school shut down since he got class president, and now he's fucked. Like, the end of the world feels closer than ever, but, you know, with the mandate and suspension and all that stuff, would he take it hard? Like, you could show him arguing about that. Maybe Trish is like, but no, no, call, no, if we fuck, ugh. Like, shouldn't Trish attend that Naomi thing? Because Trish really wants the future to happen. Like, it drops on you. And I guess that works. You no, know, You know what? You know what my problem is? The asteroid existed before this moment. If this is when they revealed the asteroid, and it just comes all at once, and it comes really hard, then the tonal whiplash would have worked a lot better. And you would have been slapped by it, just clapped across the cheeks. Just just five across the cheeks from both directions, back and forth, and back and forth. And you're like, oh no, we just won the contest, and, and Fang broke up, and now the world is ending, and everyone is depressed, and the school is a complete mess, and, and Fang is just there in this fugue state, playing music, and, and, and trying to work up the courage. That could be a bit more interesting. It hits hard, but it feels a little too constrained is my problem. Show was intense, huh? At least several days ago, I imagine. You guess you haven't talked to Trish? Nope. It feels too weird right now. Like, are we even still friends? Well, only one way to find out. You know, they use weird so much. I honestly... I wonder what it would have happened if you take every instance of weird that the teens use and replace it with, like, another word so that it feels like their own sort of slang. I don't know. So... Is LNL still on for this weekend? Dude, I wish. I'm pretty sure LNL is dead as hell. Hard enough to get the group together in the good times. But all this... And all... That... I'm pretty sure it's good as done. I don't think you should just... Give up on it, though. There's not much a DM can do without a group, dude. Personally... I can't think of anything I'd rather do than mess around in a fantasy world. Laughing, crying, making stupid jokes, seduction rolls, whatever. That's a real escape. I think we need that right now. I agree. But it doesn't really work if you're on your own. I guess I knew things would get bad. But I thought we'd at least stick it out together. <sighs> yeah. Me too. Why is Fang barehanding the guitar? Doesn't she have a pick? They! They! You know, that's a good scene. But I uh, Let's just do this one more, because I don't know how long this is. Listen, kid. I like how Rosa's just working there, even though LJ's... <laughs> Sounds like you fucked up. Your friends wanted different things. You should have known that. Ugh. Why is LJ taking on the mentor role? I mean, I know that LJ, like, lore-wise, mechanically, is perfect for this. Because LJ has seen other bands. They probably... She sees probably bands break up and all that stuff. She should know this stuff. But LJ hasn't really been properly built up as that kind of character. Yeah, I know Fang has fingernails, and she can play it... Like, they can play it like that. But my problem is... That they have a pick. Yeah. And it feels weird to do with claws like that. I think maybe a part of me knew. I just didn't want it to be true. Where are you going to go from here? I don't know. Trish did say I could go solo, I guess. No. Fang. Hold up and look around you for a second. I'm trying. Fang. You've got skills and the making of something great. But you're better with your band. Happier with them. That means way more than making it big on your own. No. Like. Oh, this is great. You ever wonder what's going to ha come after, like, after 
the help. Oh, they got a, they got a really sad one. Dimitri, how am I going to finally touch grass if all that's left is a dusty crater? You know, got that one, Demisar. Um, I would like the idea of LJ recommending, like, listen, you can go solo. You can do that, you know? But you should probably be with your band as much as you can before you go there. Like, you want to make this work. They clearly have other ideas. You should let them. But at the very least, you should take them with you as long as you can. You know, a more realistic and pragmatic perspective other than this gushy, wishy stuff. I don't know, LJ seems a bit too pragmatic for that. <laughs> what, too soft for you? Yeah. Listen, if I was in this business for profit alone, I'd sign you as a solo act and ship you out on an apocalypse tour yesterday. Yeah, but clearly Fang can't keep the band together forever. Like, Reed doesn't want to go that far. He Obviously, he's going to probably bang off the second it gets too big. And Trish wants to do something intellectual that won't involve band stuff. Like, if Fang wants to make this their job and actually make money, then yes, they should probably go solo at some point and actually make the goddamn money. Maybe, you know, sell some singles online for fuck's sake. There's a reason I stayed in this town. And why I look for talent and kids like you. Would have been nice if we had established that, you know, at any earlier point with some other cutscenes so that when this comes, we're like, oh, that all works together. It's about community. Nothing's worth doing till the end of all things if you don't have people to share it with. Yeah, fun about the community in a world with no adults or characters outside of the main cast. When it comes down to it, I'd rather have people I love with me when the meteor hits than piles of money and whatever else comes with making it. Which is ironic, because she later literally says, I'm going to a cabin in the woods and hide out for this to go over. So, like, what? And I think you would too, Faye. I don't know if that's possible anymore, though. I think I ruined everything. Fang, Trish so No, this should be where LJ says, No, Fang, you can't ruin things like that in one go. It takes more than one. Because, <laughs> you know, again, old, wise, has seen bands before, should know how this kind of works. And then Rosa butts in with, You know, LJ is right. Y you can still fix it. So that LJ seems wise and smart, and then Rosa provides the actual practical advice. Loves you. You know that, right? It's not the end of the world. Yet. Kind of interesting, they're carrying this whole song through it. That's kind of neat. But it does imply that a lot of time is passing, which makes this all the more awkward. But, you know, Fang is clearly trying to drift away and do something else and distract themselves, which is good. But he also has the quite. <sighs> Never mind. Weird song, by the way. I'm going away, I'm going away. When, like, the whole point is that Fang doesn't want to go away and doesn't want it to end. And wants, eh. I guess that's the emo vent for you. Very edgy. Sitting on the hill, they... Look, it's the hill they sat on when they talked about their futures. It's metaphorical symbolic, I guess. Would it work better with more than one scene doing it? That's it. We're, we're gonna leave. People keep coming for me every time I open this app. Des feels the vibes are bad. And on... Oh, that's so goofy. L-O-L. I can't decline that I would like to realize. Well, No, we're, we're, we're leaving it. We're leaving it here. By recording, people. I'm going to go to the bathroom, and then we can have a little chit-chat. <sighs> About what we just went through. And again, the whole, like... LJ says, like, I want to be here with friends, but we don't know who, who, who are LJ's friends. 
Like, LJ talks about going into a cabin in the woods, and then they show up for the band anyway, which feels like a weird misdirection. Like, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Shouldn't they put... She put it on anyway. Because she made a lot of the bands. And probably LJ can pull together, like, bands they had. You know, like Tina and the Tyrannosaurus. Maybe she can get those bands invited for the tour. Or, or, or like, Caldera Fest to make it a big final blowout. Like... You can do that stuff, LJ, without... Ugh, fuck you, LJ. You're, you're an idiot. You had a perfect opportunity. Anyway, recording over. I'm going to the toilet and we'll do a little, little, little cool down. <sighs> without a good episode. I like the music. I like the setup. I like the atmosphere. Very strong stuff. Took him a long time to get that going, but like, man, that does deliver. That does go there. A little weird that we're past the halfway point. We're at episode six. So, uh, yeah. Mm.